The Kursk group of Russians was fully supplied with ammunition from a warehouse in Toropets in the Tver region which was hit by the Ukrainian Defense Forces the day before. Ukrainian military expert Yevgeny Diki reported this on Radio NV. They will have a very acute shortage of ammunition in the next few days, since they do not bring it from the large arsenal every day. Intermediate warehouses and field reserves are being created, but they are for a week, for example, and then they need to be replenished again. This is the largest arsenal in the entire European part of the Russian Federation. A couple of comparable ones in size are only far beyond the Urals, Dicky said. He also recalled that there were up to 30,000 different types of ammunition in the warehouse before the strike. According to Dicky, it will no longer be possible to stop the fire in the warehouses since such fires cannot be extinguished. As for what directly concerns the front, first of all, there were rockets for grads in a very large quantity. This is 120 caliber. Therefore, grads in the Kursk region will most likely fall silent now. According to the GUR information, there were also a large quantity of rockets for S-300 and some quantity of original rockets for Iskanders and almost all Korean copies of these rockets transferred to the Russians, added Dicky. Recall a Ukrainian drone attack on a significant Russian weapons stockpile in the Tver region in might be the Ukrainian army's biggest hit against Moscow's arsenal since early 2022. The blast from the strike was so strong that earthquake monitoring stations picked it up as if it were a minor earthquake, while NASA reported a series of heat sources spotted by its equipment from space. The facility in Toropets is estimated to have stored around 30,000 tons of military munitions. The destruction of the ammunition that was stored there will most likely negatively affect the northern operational group of the Russian army. Renovated in 2018, the facility in Toropets is estimated to have stored tons upon tons of military goods, including explosives, artillery shells, and ballistic missiles. The storage site covered an area of over 5 square kilometers in size and a perimeter of more than 12 kilometers long. The town of Toropets is situated around 470 kilometers north of the Ukrainian border and the destruction of the ammunition that was stored there will most likely negatively affect the northern operational group of the Russian army, including the supply of troops in Kursk, Belgorod and Bryansk. According to Ukrainian sources, the military site in Toropets reportedly housed fuel tanks as well as missiles intended for Iskander missile systems, Tochka-U missile systems, guided aerial bombs and assorted artillery ammunition. The Russians are battling a fire at ammunition depots in Toropets, which is west of the country. Andriy Kovalenko, head of the Ukrainian government-affiliated Center for Counteracting Disinformation, reported that Grad, S-300, and S-400 missiles, as well as ballistic missiles, Iskander and KN-23 delivered from North Korea, were stored there. In a large depot in the city of Toropets in the Tver region, the Russians stored Grad, S-300, and S-400 missiles, as well as Iskander ballistic missiles, they also began accumulating North Korean KN-23 supplies there, Kovalenko wrote on Telegram after the fire broke out. Russia and North Korea signed a new agreement in June in which North Korean leader Kim Jong-un pledged his full support for Russia's war in Ukraine, and the two countries pledged to provide each other with military assistance in the event of an attack on either country. Pyongyang and Moscow have previously denied that North Korea has provided Russia with weapons for the war in Ukraine, though Western intelligence has confirmed this. Ukraine has recently had success in strikes inside Russia utilizing drones as drone technology improves. Ukraine's drone attack succeeded in wiping off the face of the earth a major Russian weapons depot in the Tver region, Ukrainian intelligence sources said. Sources in Ukraine's SBU security service told the Kiev Independent that an extremely powerful detonation began at the Russian Defense Ministry's warehouse in Toropets following a drone strike. The depot is believed to have housed Iskander and Tochkayu tactical missile systems, guided aerial bombs and artillery ammunition. According to the official, the depot also housed North Korean KN-23 short-range ballistic missiles. Among the destroyed ammunition were North Korean KN-23 short-range ballistic missiles, another official, in Ukraine's intelligence office, told Associated Press. 
Recall, Ukraine claimed the strike destroyed Russian military warehouses in Toropets, a town in Russia's Tver region about 240 miles northwest of Moscow and about 300 miles from the border with Ukraine. The attack was carried out by Ukraine's security service, along with Ukraine's intelligence and special operations forces, a Kiev security official told the Associated Press.